The switch in this circuit has been closed for a long time. At t time is equal to zero, the switch finally opens. We need to find the Laplace transform of the current output, i not s, and make sure that you know that there is no energy stored in this circuit for t less than zero. So the switch was closed, looked like this, and now we are opening it. So the current that was previously only flowing through like this now flows through, goes down here, down here, and down here as well. What we're going to do, since we are looking at time, is convert this. This IDC, the initial direct current, needs to be IDC with respect to time. So we are going to have an IDC times our U of T. And this is going to become IDC times one over S. And that is how we convert that to time. Now this V naught here, we're not going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to have a V naught times S. Similarly, we're going to have an I naught times S. Over this resistor, since it's in parallel with our inductor, it's going to be a plus minus V naught S as well, as well as a voltage over the capacitance, which is just V naught S. Now we need to convert the inductor and capacitance to the time. So we are going to have a Z S of L, and this is equal to our L times S. Similarly for capacitance, we're going to have Z uh, S of C, and this is equal to one over our capacitance times S. Knowing this, we are going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law, and we are going to solve for this problem. So we know that we need to pick a node. We'll just pick this node right here. We know that we have some current flowing this way. We have some, I'm sorry, voltage going this way. We have some voltage going this way and some going this way or current going those ways. So first thing that we're gonna have current going into the node, we'll have a negative IDC and this is over S. Then we are going to have a plus. We know we have our V naught over our LS. We also have resistance underneath our V naught and lastly, with the capacitance, we have V naught over our S of C, or one S of C. Make sure you include the S with all of these V naughts as well. So this will all be set equal to zero. And now we can continue. So I'm going to move the current to the right side to get rid of that negative. And then I'm going to factor out the V naught S. So this is going to give us a V naught S. And then inside of here, we're gonna have one over LS plus one over R plus capacitance times S. And this is equal to I DS, or I'm sorry, DC divided by S. So that is going to be our current equation now. We wanna get rid of the fraction. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by S. So the S's will cancel out here and we can factor this in on the left side. Factoring this in on the left side, we're gonna get V naught S and then in brackets, we are going to have one over L plus S divided by R plus C S squared. And this is all equal to I DC. We can further combine this together. We know that we are going to have a V naught S and then we're just going to um, make all the denominators the same. So to do this, we are going to multiply the top and the bottom by uh, R and L respectively. We are going to have the brackets. We are then going to have our R, our SL, plus our C, S square, LR. And this will all be divided by LR. And this will then be set equal to our I DC. We want to find our I naught S. So we'll find that. I naught S is equal to our V naught S divided by our capacitance, which is the impedance. So we're gonna have a one over S of C. And so we can rewrite this I naught S is equal to V naught S. And then we are going to have times S of C if we flip this on top. Now we want to plug in our V naught. So to plug in our V naught, we need to uh, rearrange this a little bit. You're gonna take the inverse of this and multiply it on both sides, that way we get V naught S by itself. So we can then plug it in. We're gonna have IDC times LR 
and this is divided by r plus sl plus c s squared lr. So this is the equation that we are going to plug in. We're going to plug it into the blue part. So gray is going to go into blue. We're going to get our i naught s is equal to, plugging this in, we're going to have i dc. We are going to have sc, and then we are going to have lr. And this will be divided by r plus sl plus c s squared lr. So this is our current equation. On the bottom, we know that looking at all of our answers, we have an s squared all by itself for each of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by one, look at this s squared, c l r. And we're doing that for both of these. So doing this, we're gonna have an i not s, and this is equal to our i d of s, and then we are still going to have our s up here. And then underneath it, in the denominator, we are going to have our s squared. We're going to go from right to left, plus our s divided by cr, because the l's are going to cancel out, and we're just left with 1 over cr, plus 1 over cl. So this should be the answer. Now let's check it. We don't have any s out front, so that cancels out. In the numerator, though, we do have an s out front. This c doesn't have an s out front, and this d doesn't have an s out front. So this numerator is the same as our numerator. Now let's look at the denominator. The denominator also appears to be the same. So that means a is going to be our answer. And that's how you would go about solving for this problem when we open a switch that has been closed for a long time.